Hi, and uh, welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here in Northrow. If you haven't seen this show before, my name is Art Bergeron. My day job is as an elder law attorney at Myrick O'Connell, uh, far away in Westboro. But if but this is not about my day job. It's about my friends Frank and Mary. If you've seen my presentations at the library or seminars that that we I do on the on the, on uh, Northbro Cable, you know that Frank and Mary's goal in life is to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if that is Northbro, that means right there. You don't want to come to Marlboro. You don't want to go to San Diego with your kids. You want to stay here. So the question is, if you're like Frank and Mary, who do you need to know, and what are the programs that you need to know about? in order to stay right here. Um, so a few people know me, everybody knows now Liz Tridiak. She's getting to be well known, even though she appeared literally the month that COVID, or the month after COVID started. Uh, your Council on Aging Senior Center Director, who's dying to see you someday, you know, and coming up soon, right? And so she finds these great guests. And Liz, whom do we have today? Today we have uh, Rebecca and Susie from the Northborough Community Affairs Committee. Um, you see Rebecca here with us on the screen and Susie is here with us on audio. Hi everyone. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone. It's great Hi. to see you all today. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, so you're from the Community Affairs Committee. For people out there watching who don't know what that means or what that is, can you give us a little history and background? Sure. I, I did call a town hall to figure out when exactly it had started. It was a little before my time. At the 1983 annual town meeting, the Community Affairs Committee was started by warrant article number 50. Oh for my the goodness. purpose of uh, promoting community life and publicity for the town by holding functions as social events, heritage days, parades, anniversaries, and other affairs for the enjoyment of the citizens. So we started out with a budget from the town for $200 a year, and um, we've kind of evolved it over the years. Wow. So uh, when did yeah. you join, Susie? I joined, I believe, seven years ago. Um, we started out with a, we just handled the tree lighting, the annual town cleanup that's held in April, and we had four concerts and a movie night. And over the years, the movie night, the, um, the cost of it rose while the attendance um, decreased. So we phased that out and added another concert, and we've been adding new events in the past year. COVID did not slow us down. Wow, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Re so, Rebecca, how long have you been on the committee? I've been on the committee, um, I think it was the year after Susie joined. So I think six years. Um, I believe I joined six years ago. So um, it's one of my favorite volunteer roles here in town. Um, like I said, when I was talking to you earlier, we always joke that we bring fun to North <laughs> Um <laughs> You know, all our events are really trying to like spread happiness and bring people together, unite our community. Um, like Susie mentioned, we have added some new events this year due to um, the unusual circumstances that this pandemic has presented. So trying to be creative and think outside the box. Um, and the first was actually in um Halloween time where we did a pumpkin decorating contest, which went really well. Um, and people decorated their pumpkins and brought them to our new town common. So it was a great way to kind of highlight a new space, open green space in town mm -hmm. and um, get people involved. And so it was really like you drive by or walk by and check out the pumpkins and vote on your favorite. Uh, you could vote online. We've, we've been doing a lot. We've been really trying to, um, despite my technological differences I usually have, um, <laughs> Susie's uh, typically very good at it. And she's really <laughs> been trying to bring everything, you know, online. It's been great. People can easily vote for, could vote for their pumpkin right on um, our website. Um, and I don't know, if Susie, if you want to talk about the other new event that we had this year at the holidays? Yes, yeah. we did a house decorating contest. So people could drive around. We had the addresses online with a map, and you could drive around and see the different um, light displays on the different houses. And you were also able to vote 
um, in a COVID friendly fashion online. And um, we awarded different um, gift baskets from our small businesses in town. So no. from there, no. we really, we just wanted to support our small businesses because we feel like they're what makes um, Northboro so wonderful. It's the variety of restaurants, the little stores and shops. So we're really trying to look forward and support them this spring with some new events as well. That's a, that was a great idea. So does, does that, I was going to, you know, kind of ask about, so, you know, how did you adapt to COVID and do you think that the, some of the things you did with from COVID have taught you some things that, that are going to change your programming going forward? And and that Christmas, that that idea, that's a great idea. So that people really, you know, because you don't want, even if in non-COVID times, you don't necessarily want people like trampling through your house in the middle of December, you know? Right. But like to be doing the decoration, that's a great idea. And it was a great way to get if pe people with kids. Um, it was a great way to get them out of the house at that time. Mm -hmm. My husband would bring my two sons on nightly light rides. And, you know, they, <laughs> they would bring the map. The map was online. It was right there. So he'd have the map and they would, you know, check them off as you go. And I know so many people who did that. And it was you know, something, it was something really fun to do and see how your friends decorated. It was, it was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. It and broke we up really, the monotony. We, <laughs> it broke yes. up the monotony. Yes. And we had the extra time at home where we could figure out how to do these new events as well. So that was really helpful. So I think a lot of them will carry over, you know, we might adapt them as we can be around each other again, but we have laid the groundwork and the the skeleton and bones of, you know, the technical, um, the voting and the maps and everything. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it really was. I have to mention yeah. the sweet treat drive through event that you did with us here at the Senior Center. That was so much fun. We here in the office, it's me and Jocelyn and Nancy, and we're here every day. And we had so many kids and families coming up to the door and dropping off the homemade Valentines that they did. We just loved it so much. And then when we handed out the gift bags and the Valentines, we're still getting calls now in March with pe from people thanking us for those and um, just saying how much they enjoyed receiving them. Some of them were really funny. <laughs> and oh. it's just, you know, just the handwritten sentiments of, like a second grader, you know, it really, really made people stay. So that was one event, Arthur, that we did together that was just so much fun. Um, and I'm really looking forward to everything we're gonna do in the future. Cause now that I know about this committee. <laughs> we're gonna, we're Please, we would more. love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I got it. So I got to ask. So do you do you look for are you looking for volunteers? And 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 if so, how do how do people volunteer and all of that? Because I'm thinking that this sounds like something that there are some Franks and Marys out there who could be really interested in. Mm -hmm. you know, this is, you know, fun. Fun is a kind of a universal, right? You know, right. really looking for fun. So I'll, I'll let Sue. So right now we are looking for one member. I became chair um, last month after our longtime chair had stepped down after I think 15 years. Um, so we do, we are looking for one member. You can volunteer online. However, we're always looking for um, all hands on deck. Um, if we had something that we had to vote on, the vote might not count for being on the board, but we're always looking for um, extra help. And we do meet um, the third Wednesday of every month and our meetings are right on YouTube and um, cable access for all now on Zoom. Um, so it's, you just have to watch for the agenda on the town website. Right now, if they wanna have fun, they could join in the Munchie Madness contest that we're having. Um, we, until April 5th, we're highlighting our local restaurants and you can upload a receipt from eating at one of the Northboro restaurants and be entered in to win um, a gift at the end, a prize. So you can do that via, um, we have a, there's a QR code out there in, in the different restaurants, you'll see our flyer and you can scan that. You can go on our website or you can drop off at two different locations or mail them to us. So we're really trying to um, just boost our, our local eateries business up a little bit. Yeah, we decided to do this because 
it was so dis it's been so disheartening to see some of our favorite restaurants in town have to close. So we kind of put our heads together to say, what could we do? Like, what can we as a committee do? You know, we, we really try to help and bring the community together. You know, is there something? And so we were like, maybe we could do something, a play on March Madness. To, you know, so it all evolved and it's such a great committee that we, I feel like everyone is just idea people. So it was, it really like went quickly into, into this great um, contest that we have going on right now. And it's all to support the restaurant. I, I have to tell you, we stopped in to drop off the, um, to drop off the flyers in the different restaurants and the, the feedback from the restaurant owners has been amazing. They are so grateful. They're so happy. We're doing it all for free. They, they're not buying in. They're not paying us. We're going to be advertising a different one, um, mostly during the weekdays this month. And, you know, putting it in all of our local, um, our local publications and media. Rebecca handles the um, mailing, the emailing to all the different publications and the groups in town, um, the Boy Scouts and schools and whatnot. And I handle the social media. So we're really trying to get it out there for people to go out. Such yeah. a great idea. And, and you we also, oh, oh go, go ahead, Rebecca. Well, I was gonna say, um, Arthur, you asked about volunteers and the event that we need the most volunteers for is actually coming up on a Saturday, April 24th and 25th. And that is our annual town cleanup, um, Susie had mentioned. And so basically we encourage everyone in town to get involved. And we, again, it's, we make it very easy. You can sign up for an area on our website. You pick your favorite area in town sign up. Uh, this year we're going to have some school teams uh, cleaning up their respective schools. Um, we always start the morning off with uh, cookies and, well not cookies, sorry, breakfast and coffee. Well, maybe some cookies, but <laughs> you know. I, was, this, I noticed it's kind of a sweet theme. To this <laughs> yeah, right. This is, lunchy, this is food. This is a lot of food, right? This is not, this is not your Weight Watchers North Road <laughs> No. It is no, not. No. no. This is true. We're no, having a good time to eat, right? <laughs> right. Exactly. But we kick the day off at Ellsworth where people come and get their their bags and gloves. And um, then they go out throughout the weekend to clean up. So we do see so many families coming. A lot of like Boy Scout, Girl Scout troops come. Um, different. We, we're actually, I'll let Susie talk about this, but we're partnering with some of the other um, town committees right now. Uh, the Trails Committee. Uh, Susie, I'll let you, because you've been uh, connecting yeah. with the different, but we're trying to collaborate. And that's like a big thing this year is really trying to collaborate more with other committees in town. Yes, we're going to be, the important part about signing up with us and um, getting the bags from us is that we can alert the DPW where the bags are going to be. So you're you're not even bringing the trash home with you. You're leaving it at a designated spot in the area that you're picking up. And the DPW goes around the following week and picks them all up. So it really is, um, it's a wonderful event. And we did reach out to the trails committee. They're going to put together a list so that the trail walkers can also get bags from us and put them in a certain area. Um, and after talking to um, Kristen Black, our new um, Board of Health agent, she's wonderful, um, we were collaborating on getting businesses involved as well. So we might put out a challenge to businesses to, you know, take a picture, upload it, we'll post it on our media, um, showing that you're cleaning up your grounds as well. So we're very excited for expanding this. We had plans to expand it before COVID. Um, and have everybody kind of have a little different table at Ellsworth with us, but we're adapting and, you know, we can do that in the future, but we got the drive by the drive through idea from um, the senior center, the Maryland Times. So we thought that was a great system to make it easy for people to just come and, you know, we'll just hand it off. So that's great. We'll have to connect you with the Council on Aging Board and the friends of the senior center to do all the trails up here. Oh, um, yes. Go around our building. That would be 
great that's a great idea too. Definitely. That's a great yeah. idea too. And you guys have got a great trail system. I know I, I was I was just looking at the map of the the big one there, the whole Burroughs Trail Loop, yeah. which is really it's really something. So anyway, I'm looking, as, as I had mentioned to you, my, one of my jobs is to kind of watch the watch the time, but I think we're I think we're still good on time. But but Liz, now I know you had some questions, and you at, at the beginning you said I'm not going to have time to ask my questions, so I'm to make sure that because I talk. See, she makes me. She she said she gets me talking, and then she gets mad because I talk too much. So Liz, Arthur, I never get mad. Come on, not at you. <laughs> Um, I think we might have actually covered my questions. I think I talked, I was going to ask um, how long the Community Affairs Committee has been around and um, what other events that you do. I think well, may, that covers it. Okay, so may I ask, so for the summer now, you know, the world is opening up, you know, it's, it's, it's like I keep telling my clients, like spring is come, coming, COVID's going. I won't mention the third one. There's a, there's a, there's a person that I mention and say, and he's gone, and so the world is better. But I won't mention that name. <laughs> so, but spring is coming, and COVID's going. You know, so for the summer, um, you know, are you are you are you thinking back in the concert business? Are you thinking what do you, what are you thinking? You know, in this so, kind of like twilight of the COVID era. You know. Yeah. So um, last summer there were other local towns that still had their concerts, and they had adapted it to um, COVID. This year, we are really hoping that we will put together our concert schedule. We're working on the assumption that things are not going to get worse than they are right now. So we're going to plan it as though I'm going to have the concert tomorrow. And then as um, we open up and go through different stages, we'll be able to adapt the plans a little bit. Um, and we have um, Kristen, as I had said, she's going to attend our next meeting, hopefully. And... I'm going to be working with the new food person in town too, the food licensing person um, about what we can do having food trucks like we have in the past and, you know, just setting up different rules and everything. So if it has to be, if we have to change locations and be in the high school parking lot, all in, you know, our cars or near our cars, or, you know, are we going to count people at the park? We're not sure yet, but we are operating that we will, have summer concerts this summer so how great is that we are very uh oh, so excited yeah. yeah 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 talk about something to look forward to right. well liz, sure. liz 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 yet again so liz keeps doing this you know she keeps pulling this out of the hat i keep saying are you running out of like interesting people like to bring on and she keeps finding these great you know people <laughs> and committees and this is really wonderful. it's great that you do this and I, you know and just from from listening to the two of you, it's like you'd say to yourself, so who wouldn't want to be on this group, you know, right? <laughs> right? I mean, it's just, you. Like, it's just like, like you say, because it's like filled with ideas and you're kind of doing these new things all the time. And it's yeah. and it's really about bond, bonding the community together, right? Mm -hmm. Which is really yeah. kind of what, you know, which is kind of what Liz is doing with my friends, Frank and Mary, and all of their <laughs> friends who want to stay in Northrow forever. So thank you so much. To the two of you, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Liz, once again for bringing on some just terrific people. Oh, um, no, thank you. You, you know, if you, if we, you know, we'll, we'll, if, if these folks send us any information, we'll, we'll post on, on this, you know, as a, as a banner here, you know, how you can connect with these folks. You know, there's a lot to be cleaned up this spring, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. It's been a long year. Yes. So they could really use the help. Um, thank you so much for for uh, doing this to the two of you. Thank you, Liz. And folks, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you on the next installment of Frank and Mary here in Northborough. Thank you very much. <laughs>